it's Laura. It has now been four days since my open carpal tunnel release surgery and I'm here to tell you how progress has been going so far. I'm, I have really good movement of all my fingers now. Um, my thumb still gets a little stiff and it still gets a little painful when moving it. It almost feels like it's just pulling on the stitches and that's why it, it hurts a bit. You can see some bruising coming all the way up around in my palm. Um, not sure what it looks like underneath. I know there's some stitches. I'm not sure if you put any seri strips, strips in there. Um, I will be getting clarification from the doctor soon on when he wants this wrap taken off. On my paperwork it says that it was to be taken off after a week and then possibly do a splint. Um, he verbally told me, however, though, that he was going to uh, take it off at my two-week appointment. So I will find out um, before then and see if it's something that, that needs to be removed ahead of time. If it is, then I can remove it on camera. You could subscribe and, and you'll get notification. Um, if it's something I could take off, I'll just take it off while videoing it and you can see what it looks like underneath. Um, for activities, I'm still limited to two pounds uh, for what I can lift with my hand. And that hasn't been a problem. I, I've been doing pretty good with using my right. I've noticed with my right hand that uh, the carpal tunnel I do have in my right hand has been a little bit more aggravated because I've been using that hand more. Uh, so once this hand is done and I'm able to do my right hand, I know that I'll be pain-free in both of my hands and that'll be uh, a big relief. Uh, for showering, I have heard that some people will use a, a dish glove and put that over their hand, just an oversized dish glove. Um, my oversized dish glove is still not quite oversized enough for it to fit over this, this palm because it he put so much padding here to make it like a splint uh, to prevent the wrist from moving that the glove won't work. So um, I've just been using a grocery bag and just putting that, that over there and then just using my teeth to tie it onto my wrist. I haven't had a, needed any tape on the bottom um, and no water has been getting in whenever I shower so it hasn't been a problem. Um, for showering, one thing that I have learned, a little trick, um, if your soap isn't the kind that you can just pump it down with your hand to get soap out, if it's the kind you have to squeeze, I'll squeeze it into my elbow here. That way I can see how much I'm getting, then I can scoop it out be able to wash my hair. So it's a neat little trick that I learned. So if you're doing it directly on your head, you don't really know how much you're getting. So just a neat trick I learned that I'd like to share with you. Uh, for driving, if your car is an automatic, I feel that you can drive day two after your surgery. Um, as long as you're not taking any narcotics. I don't feel that taking narcotics for me was, was necessary, so I've just been able to get by on Motrin. And uh, everyone's different with pain management though, so go with what you feel best, you and your doctor have discussed for what's best for you for your pain management. Um, but you don't wanna drive, obviously, when you, if you're on the narcotics. Um, I have a manual uh, drive car, so I waited until today to drive, and today's day four for me. Um, my car has the steering wheel on the right and the manual shift is on the left. It's a UK spec car. And so um, shifting with my, with my surgery hand was a little awkward. Um, I was able to, to grip the stick shift with my, with my four fingers and be able to move it around and it was, it was fine. There was a little bit of pain from whenever I had to go back up into first. I felt that the pulling down was was pain free, but just pushing back up into first. I don't know if it's just my my car with being able to have it. It just felt like it wasn't as smooth with with going back up. Um, I think that some of it was that I needed to to use a little bit of my thumb for that. And I, most of my pain has been in my thumb. My four fingers have been fine. Um, so I hope your recovery is going well, and that any of this information helps you as far as um, when you can. You can drive and any tricks in the shower. I'll keep you updated uh, as I start healing more and once my uh, my gauze comes off. That way you can see what to expect to see underneath the hand for the surgery. Uh, have a great day. Thank you. Bye.